Whiskey Alpha 5 Lima Uniform Yankee. Lima Uniform Yankee, Roger, Roger. And uh, what's the name there? Uh, the name is Wayne. Uh, Whiskey Alpha uh, Yankee Deliver Echo. Roger, Wayne. And uh, what uh, radio are you running? I'm running an IC 746 ICOM. Okay, sir. And what's your location? Roger, Roger. Now, uh, Wayne, if you're interested in our setup procedure quickly, it uh, it involves uh, you being in that uh, wide uh, transfer band pass mode, uh, 100 to 2900. If you're not familiar with that, uh, just take a note that you want to uh, put your radio in that uh, wide transfer bandwidth, 100 to 2900. It's in uh, settings, but if you're not familiar with it, just take a note. Roger. Uh, this radio is has no settings like that. Are you able to uh, look at the bandwidth? Do you have a uh, uh, receiver that has the bandwidth adapter on it where you can see my bandwidth? I do, but normally I just uh, set uh, for two thirds, uh, and you're running a, you know, three dB dynamic range. I'm not really looking at band bandwidth uh, as far as uh, the, you know, the far excursions. I do have a 7300, and I could do that, but I just, you know, I don't have time for that. I just, uh, you know, set the radio for three dB dynamic range, uh, and uh, you know. I tell you what, uh, Wayne. Why don't you give me uh, about ten seconds to tell me about your antenna system, and let me look around and see if I can find a better path for us. Uh, I've got you on my local antenna, but uh, many times uh, SDRs are, are better. So just give me about ten seconds and uh, tell me about your antenna system. Okay, I can uh, tell me about your antenna system. Okay, I agree with you one hundred percent. A resident dipole is the way to go. That's what we're running here, and uh, they have done it for years on different bands. We uh, have uh, 18, uh, I mean, 17 meters, uh, 40 meters, and uh, 180, I mean, one, uh, I mean, 80 meters. And so that's the setup here. We're running a uh, amplifier, about 600 watts. Uh, it's uh, a Veritron L and 600 behind the 746. And I'm just curious. I get good audio reports, but I was also ever wondering about my bandwidth. Am I out of the bandwidth or, or under it or what? Yeah, I don't have uh, my 7300 uh, fired up at the moment, but, uh, uh, you know, that radio, is that uh, uh, like a, uh, a 2.7? What's the age of that radio? A uh, uh, 2.7? What's the age of that radio? Oh, it's about uh, 18 years old, uh, old stuff, but it still works. Yes, yeah, so I would say you're probably well within your uh, band pass uh, because, uh, you know, only recently have they actually been using 100 to 2900 as far as, uh, you know, uh, uh, a wide quote in quote uh, band setting. So I would say, you know, unless uh, somebody comes knocking on your door, I would uh, think that, uh, you, you know, or and you could get somebody that does have their meter up at the moment to look at your uh, bandwidth. But our setting is, uh, com you know, uh, compression on at a three which is a token amount something you never hear but it does start uh, our setup procedure so it's compression on at a three and that's a three out of ten or thirty out of a hundred roger compression on at a three and that's a three out of ten or thirty out of a hundred roger okay i'm running no compression now one two three four okay compression on one two three four can you tell the difference Oh, I can tell the difference, but the thing is, I don't want to tell the difference. I want you to be at a three. Three is imperceptible, uh, you know, but it, it does help. So I would, I would put that, uh, if you have an adjustment on your compression input, I would put it on a three out of ten or thirty out of a hundred, Roger. Input, I would put it on a three out of ten or thirty out of a hundred, Roger. Well, there's no adjustment like that on the 746. There's a knob in the back you turn, <laughs> and there's no readout, readout. I guess you just turn it to the best compression. <laughs> Excuse me, so I'm going to leave the compression off. That's where I get good audio reports. And, uh, I'm running a, uh, a Turner microphone. It's a, it's a Turner element with a homebrew preamp in it, and I get real good reports. But I've never had anybody actually tell me what my bandwidth is. 
Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that until somebody comes knocking on your door. I would just set it up, you know, uh, I would keep that compressor off because, it, you know, unfortunately the manufacturer decided that uh, he wasn't going to let anybody have uh, the ability to make adjustments and it was just going to be a fixed thing and that's, you know, I hate manufacturers like that. Uh, the whole idea is to be able to control your radio and they give you an on-off switch. So there you go. But uh, in the other regard is the next step after the compressor that you don't have on would be to go to your ALC with mic gain in hand and as you say the magic word audio you become a human signal generator and uh, use your mic gain to set your ALC level at uh, two-thirds. Roger. Your mic gain to set your ALC level at uh, two-thirds. Roger. Well, I'm looking at my ALC and it's running about 45% right now. So I'm just going to leave it all like it is and uh, find somebody that's got one of these new modern SDR receivers that could tell me exactly where I am. I'm just curious about it. So, look, I appreciate it, and uh, I've been listening to you for a while, and i uh, got a good signal down here in Arkansas. We're running about 600 watts, and when you when you uh, drop from your uh, whatever you're running down to 100 watts, it still had a real good signal here. So uh, I guess that's a dipole to dipole. So 70 threes, and I uh, appreciate the uh, comments. Over. Yes, sir, Wayne, uh, 73, sir, and, uh, you know, uh, the thing is, uh, use, uh, find somebody with a 7300 that's, that, you know, running a 7300 or 7610. Those are really good to, for you to uh, check your ALC with, I mean, your, your transmit bandwidth. Uh, but, uh, you know, you will not uh, achieve uh, the greatest, uh, um, heaviest sound until you take that uh, ALC up to two-thirds. Uh, up to two thirds. That will give you a three dB dynamic range, and we'll, your average percent of peak modulation will be 80 to 85 percent, and you'll be fat but crystal clear words. So, uh, 73, uh, Wayne, and uh, Merry Christmas, sir. Clear words. So, uh, 73, uh, Wayne, and uh, Merry Christmas, sir. Okay, Merry Christmas to you, and uh, 73, and uh, have fun uh, coming to get people out. I guess that's what the camera radio is all about. Uh, W-A-5-L-U-Y, hot spray, clear. Roger, roger. This is uh, the Friday afternoon QSO vlog net. Uh, gosh, uh, we're 17 past, but uh, there was another uh, station in there. Other station, are you still with us? 17 past, but uh, there was another uh, station in there. Other station, are you still with us?